In this PHP web application programming tutorial, we're going to cover a viewer request we received on YouTube from The Ugly Bloody Dog. And they wrote, could you make a video on how a website puts icons for different letters, so different character sequences. Like if you put a less than three together, you get a heart icon. Or if you put these certain characters here, you get a shark rendered on Facebook, like when you're chatting or when you're private messaging on Facebook, if you put in certain sequence of characters, it will render an emoticon or an icon graphic. That's what we're going to be showing you guys how to do today. If you happen to have a website that intakes data or you let people chat or whatever you're doing. And here's the finished product of our lesson where we're showing how to take a simple string of characters, whichever kind of sequence that you want to program into your system and render emoticons or icons from those sequences of characters that people put in. Okay, let's go into our PHP web page because your page has to be a PHP extension in order for PHP to run inside of it. So let's open and close the PHP scripting block. In the first line inside the block, I'm going to write a comment. Okay, so if you're using a database to render all of this data to your website, then you're going to want to alter the string data as it comes out of the database not as it's going into the database. So when people are using your little chat systems or your forums or whatever, when they're putting data in to the database, when they're posting that data, you don't want to alter the string before it goes in. All you want to do is alter the string on the page that renders that database data or the section of the website or the section of the web page that's going to render that data. That is where you want to make these alterations to the string data. In the database, you just want to have the normal character sequences and then alter them when the data comes out of the database. So for the example, let's just type in a new variable. Let's call it database string. And that's equal to whatever string data I want to put in. So let me type in show me some. And I'll make the little heart character sequence that people are used to, which is the less than character and a three. So I'll say show me some love right now. Now if I just echo that variable to the page, let's just echo that right there. Let's see how this runs on a PHP enabled server. All right, so all I get when I output that, when I render that to the page, I just get the character sequence and there's no heart emoticon or heart entity there. So let's replace this sequence of characters with a heart emoticon or heart entity. So just to show the difference, I'm gonna echo out a horizontal rule just a line in HTML. And then I'm going to make a new variable. I'm going to call it new underscore string. And that's going to be equal to string replace, which is a built in PHP function made specially for replacing string data. You can also use string I replace, which is a case insensitive search and replace function. Okay, so we're just going to use string replace, which is a case sensitive version of string replace. Okay, so, okay, let's type in the first parameter, which is the string that we're looking to replace, which is this little character sequence there that people might type in for showing love. Then to add the second parameter to this function, we just add a comma and then the string that we want to replace that with or the HTML we want to replace that with. So I'll go here to develop PHP. I'm going to grab this heart right there. And then I'm going to place that right there. And then the last parameter, because this takes three parameters, is the original string that you want to alter, that you want the replacing to happen for. And then we can just take this line and echo it out under this one here. And make sure we change that to new string, echo new string. Now let's run this on our PHP enabled server. Let's go to our page and refresh. And there you go. Now you're effectively changing character sequences into actual graphical emoticon or you can use HTML entity and you can use any entities that you want. You can check out these icon symbols. If you want to use crowns and other cool stuff like that, music notes, uh, all kind of cool little things. Now I'll give you guys some extra tips here. If you want to replace this character sequence with an actual heart or something that you create and then in your code you just put your image tag here you put image source is equal to and then you can close your image tag there and you can also put the alt is equal to it would say heart and then your source would be in your images folder or your icons folder or whatever heart.jpg 
or heart.png, whatever. So this will effectively replace the character string that the people put in with an actual graphic that you want to make. If you don't want to use the HTML entities like I use here. But I think it's a whole lot simpler if you want to get started quickly and have a lot of icons very quickly to use these HTML entities. It's all kind of cool stuff. Okay, so just to reiterate, you want to get the database data first and then change the strings that the people put in to their emoticon counterparts. And like I said, you see here I have an HTML entity, but you can use an image. Just like I showed you, just slap your image tag right in there for whatever image you want to change that for. Okay, now as a last little tip in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to make these into arrays. That way it's a little more expandable for you. You won't use up so many lines of code. So what we're going to do, actually let me go ahead and put that above there. I just put in these two lines and what they are is they're both arrays of data. Now this first array and they both have three items within them. You can put as many items as you want within them that separated by comma. So the first array holds the original sequence of characters that would be in your database that you're looking to change into emoticons. So this one I'm going to change this to a heart. I'm going to change this sequence of characters to the peace sign. And I'm changing this sequence of characters to the umbrella. And you can use any custom sequence of characters that you want. So here in the icons array these are the items that these will get swapped for. So this one will get swapped for this one. This one, this sequence of characters will get swapped for this. And this sequence of characters will get swapped for this. Which these are all HTML entities that render out a little icon. And remember, you can use custom images. Any JPEG, GIF, or PNG, whatever you want to put in there. Now, in the string replace you want to use the arrays so you can just take the chars array and put that in the first parameter of string replace function then the second parameter you just put icons and it'll use it'll effectively use those arrays to do the replacing so let me go put some more text into my sentence here let's type in it is raining today and I'll put in the little umbrella sequence which is umbra in those brackets it is raining today umbrella comma that gives me and then I'll put the peace sign right there I'll just put the word peace and then in the brackets put the word peace and there now let's see what this all renders out let's refresh our page there you go so you can see the original string that's stored in your database and now you can see what it will be transformed into after you use the string replace function on it like that with arrays and the arrays help you to keep it nice and lean. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'll have this little bit of tiny script in case you guys need to reference it under the video at developphp.com when I set this page up. The script will be underneath the video that you can grab it if you need it.